Hey, all thought I would do another insurance tips for smart people today. This is Ray Alkali, and today we're going to talk about why you want an umbrella policy. You do want an umbrella policy. And uh, let me give you a small scenario that uh, recently happened. I kind of changed the names and a little bit of the scenario, but it's as close to, to the scenario as possible. Uh, a client uh, went bowling with a buddy of his. Uh, they finished bowling, went back to the parking lot. Uh, put all their stuff in their trunks, in their respective trunks of their vehicles. And unfortunately, uh, one of the people in the bowling event, uh, as he was backing up, uh, unfortunately backed up and crushed his buddy um, against the other vehicle. So there's going to be, there has been, and there's going to be medical, surgical, there's going to be all kinds of expenses. Um, and at some point, I don't know necessarily that there will be enough coverage in the auto coverage uh, liability in order to cover that, and that's when the umbrella will kick in. Uh, medical bills are expensive, especially if it's gonna be long-term, if you're gonna have to um, uh, have uh, uh, surgeries, uh, rehabilitation, uh, if the person can't uh, uh, function normally, at some point lawyers may get involved and then there's gonna be need for more money. So an umbrella policy, a million dollars, usually runs around somewhere between 150 to 200 dollars on average if there is teenagers in the house you may have to add another 100 150 dollars for a liability you can also add uninsured underinsured on liability on umbrella policies um, which i would suggest you do but sometimes you just have to make the choice on what what you're trying to cover so if you don't have an umbrella policy talk to your agent uh get an umbrella policy they're cheap uh it'll it'll save you when when needed the odds are you're never going to need that but just like this individual backed up just didn't see mistakes happen somebody got crushed at some point there's going to be lawyers involved i'm almost sure of that at this point i don't know that if they are or not um, but there will be so you want to think about an umbrella policy as something that's uh something you're never going to use you're going to pay for you're going to hate it but you want it uh, because if you don't have it when you need it it's just going to be insanely expensive on your part because if you don't have that coverage, um, whatever is, uh, if there's a lawsuit, uh, whatever the insurance company doesn't cover will come out of your assets um, or could come out of your asset. Doesn't guarantee that it will, but it could. So you want to make sure that you get that. Uh, again, we as insurance agents always want people to have more coverage. Um, you also have to decide on how much you want to spend in life. I get that. But at the same time, it's one of those things that if you don't have it, consider it. Talk to your agent, give me a call, talk to somebody who de deals in this because it's it's not worth not having. Um, if you have any questions about any of this, give me a shout out, put some comments in the in the side there uh, in, on Facebook. Please share. Uh, I want everybody in the state of Minnesota, preferably in the country, to know about uh, insurance tips for smart people. I will keep doing this. Um, there's always questions that come up. And one of these questions was what we talked about today, the, the umbrella policy. So give me a shout out, uh, ask questions, tell your friends, insurance tips for smart people.com and share and like, and just tell everybody. Thanks for watching. And I think uh, three and a half minutes is more than enough. Talk to you soon.